Welcome back everyone to Red Desk. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover. And right now, as an American thing to do, we gotta get involved in the Middle East. Intervention in the Yemeni Civil War. Conflict was once interrupted in the Gulf of Aden as a military alliance between Saudi Arabia and Northern Yemen has launched a campaign to eliminate the long-standing thorn that has persisted since their defeat in 1994. Wow. This presents a valuable opportunity for us to weaken the Soviet influence by destroying its last remaining ally in the Arab region. Let's go. Cool. Mm -hmm. How many volunteers can we send? You know what? I'm feeling a bit uh, aggressive right now. Let's go with this. Pew, pop. And we're going to put on John Hendricks. Welcome to your new operations, John. Awakening all ghosts. Amidst the clouds, aboard an inconspicuous plane bound for Japan, two diplomats found themselves in groves in a clandestine conversation. Ambassador Williams, a seasoned diplomat with a sharp whip, glanced over his dossier while his Japanese counterpart, Ambassador Tanaka, sat across from him, his expression a blend of curiosity and apprehension. Well, Tanaka-san, alongside their proposal for rearmament, we also come bearing an interesting arms deal. We want to show Japan the necessary means to defend itself. What do you think this rearmament is necessary now, Williams-san? Tanaka inquired, his voice a soft a murmur against the hum of the engines. Williams leaned back, adjusting his glasses thoughtfully. It's simple, Tanaka-san. North Korea's belligerence is escalating, and China's saber-rattling is keeping everyone on edge. We need a strong ally in the region to maintain stability. Tanaka nodded slowly, though a furrow creased his brow. But you understand the implications of this request. Article 9 of the Constitution strictly for prohibits free armament. Of course, of course, Williams interjected smoothly, his tone reassuring. But sometimes necessity outweighs legality, and besides, we'll make sure it's all done discreetly. No need to cause a stir. The Japanese diplomat sighs, gaze drifting to the window where the horizon melted into the distance. I fear this may awaken old ghosts, Williams son. The specter of Japanese militarism is not the one easily laid to rest. Williams clapped his hands together, his expression grave. I understand your concerns, Tanaka-san, but in times of uncertainty, sometimes we must uh, make difficult choices for the greater good. Tanaka-san murmured, his voice heavy with concern as the plane continued its journey towards a future fraught with uncertainty. But at what cost, Williams son? At what cost to our nation's soul? So right now we're going to make it some political power. We're doing. We're working with the worker unions. Um, if you want to read this one again, please go ahead. I think I read this one last time, so. Now we can start a civil war in Libya. Hmm, sounds pretty normal for us. Maintain Israeli support. Aid the Saudis. Wow, they get Tabuk gets five military factories. Well, maintain Israeli support. Israel has always been a very valuable ally to us for many years. We've been there to support them to defend themselves from the neighboring Islamic nations, which have attempted to wipe them off the face of the map for good. We'll maintain our support for them and aid them if need be. That's right. Okay, so we'll keep saving up our stuff here. Um, can we send any planes? Oh, we can send a whole fat four planes. Close air support. Well, I guess. Well, welcome over. Welcome aboard. South Arabia. What do you got here? Fighters? All right. Well. I forgot to get rid of these guys, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Rammstein. Close air support. Close air support. Yeah, that's fine, too. Should be fine. Doing a little bit of damage here. They actually more fighters, so maybe we'll get rid of... You know what? I'm going to get rid of you. Oh, another thing of fighters here first. Boop. Boop. Did we not get rid of it? Oh, well, now it's bugged. Great. Oh, well, whatever. You, Shelton, welcome to the South. Ah, I love Israel. Don't quote me on that one. But, <clears throat> aid the Saudis. Saudi Arabia is a monarchist nation. They host multiple sites deemed holy by the believers of the Muslim faith. An important fact is that they also are some of the biggest oil producers in the world. This means that our support of them could mean that we could gain more oil from them if we have better relations. Oil is not everything, however. Having an ally to trust in the Middle East is just what we require at the moment. I'm just going to let you guys have fun. Mass uprisings in Yugoslavia. And we have all this stuff to, so to do, which I completely forgot about. Upgrade the Afghan light industry. I'm okay with that. Um, Army XP. I don't really want to lose coalition support. Night raids. We saw this. It wasn't very good last time. Nuclear warhead. Anything for NATO? No. I still want to do more Senate stuff, so. They're neutral. It's 2003. We should do something else. Prisoner rehabilitation. Remove the Taft-Hartley Act. A significantly damaging piece of federal legislation has been the Taft-Hartley Act, an anti-union and frankly anti-worker law that severely restricts the powers of workers and trade unions. With the removal of this act will allow for greater union participation in politics and for workers to get a better say in promoting their lives and situations. Um, 
Prisoner Rehabilitation Act. Uh, healing criminal minds instead of punishing them. Progressive wage. This sounds like it could benefit us in the long term. So we do that. We're going to gain reform support. Gain more reform support. And the Republicans are fine with us, so we're going to gain Republican and Republican support. And now we lose 0.21 in a day. Good job, American tanks. Good job, guys. You're going to vet saying we won? Yay. Good job. Now do it again. Oh. Your slug is not having fun, but that's fine. Oh, we can't send volunteers to sit down. That'd be kind of weird. Or Yugoslavia. Or any of these guys. That's alright. What are we building in America? Nuclear reactor? Oh, Fort Leonard China War? Oh, well, that's uh... Something to notice? Yeah. Something we should probably get involved with. Well, we support Israel, now we've got to support some other people too. Burning jungle. The region of Indochina is engulfed by the fires of war once more, and we need to step in and save our anti-communist allies. Our allies in Thailand and Cambodia would very much appreciate our help as that uh, could help them successfully defend themselves and could win themselves a war. We must protect our interests and look forward to ending bloodshed between the communist and anti-communist forces. That's right. America. Mm, not many. It's just a giant drain on us. Stabilize. We get some more coalition support. And we're at almost 50% for reconstruction. Night raids. I'm going to send coalition forces. Um, I don't want to ask for any more. Alright. Ramp up equipment delivery. To win any war, you need equipment, guns, ammo, and vehicles, with medical equipment. At the moment, the anti communist forces severely lack the equipment needed in order to possess uh, the possibility to win the war. We'll send more of everything important to them. That'll be good. Good. Taliban strength is just getting demolished, which I really do love. When can we see all this stuff? Into China. Status of the fourth Indochina war is of utmost concern. A squash in the communist foot owns Indochina is paramount. We must be wary of the hawkish Vietnamese of the East, as their intervention is a question of when, not if. Coordinating with our Thai allies and providing them with the necessary material to combat this threat is essential. When the time comes, we must blockade Vietnamese ports to strangle their supplies and economy, aiming to end the war while very carefully managing our naval presence in the South China Sea to avoid an international uproar. Sure. Fortify Phnom Penh. Bombing runs in northern Indochina. I really don't want bombing runs. Fortify. That's fine. Uh. Can I click on anything here? As long as we can send a material support, like actual volunteers, we'll be okay. Deal in the UAE. Saddam the Madman. Send advisors to Thailand. Oh, I should have done this one earlier. The Th Thailand is not a nation well versed enough to withstand the communist side of the moment. We will help alleviate the problem by sending your advisors to approve the battle plans and doctrines to combat the rising communist threat. That's fine. So. Well, they're doing okay for now, holding out at the very least. How are we doing over here? Oh, yeah. Only a thousand more? We ask for more here, maybe. Seven, five. Nice, good stuff. Keep giving them guns. Especially if it's our old, our old stuff. Okay, so, oh, come on. 49? Are you kidding me? Huh. That's so stupid. Well, sounds like we gotta go back and go do a few other things, too. Um, because that's really stupid. 
The domino shall not fall. Oh, Vietnam, once Vietnam enters, then we can enter, enter too. We can now let our bastion of freedom and anti-communism fall to the communist invader hordes. Our domino shall not fall until we are not in position to support the cause with weapons and political support. We'll show these communists the power of freedom, then what it can be, or what it can achieve when backed into a corner. A renewed Taliban offensive. Seeking to reclaim Afghanistan, the Taliban insurgents have coordinated or launched a united offensive all across the country. We need a fence, offensive off before we can make any counterattack in Taliban territory. They just don't know when to quit or when they've already lost, do they? Over the next few days, which has already been 14 days technically since the last uh, fade and fade out, the Taliban is surging to a great strength. Their back up to 53%. Their success are reduced according to the expertise of the ANSF, the number of coalition forces, and support of the Afghan people as on the coalition. So this really sucks. So Afghanistan is a waste of time. Um, which I think we pretty much all knew that anyways. Uh, but it would be interesting to see how far we can get with this and how to do it. But uh, Cambodia's doing really well, actually. Thailand's doing pretty well against Laos, People's Democratic Front, anyway, so. Afghanistan sucks. But this is alright. I'm not even doing bombing runs because we don't really need to do it. There's no point for us. Ooh, this looks pretty good overall. Now, red success, great. Yeah. And we're at 56%, 52%, so. Ah. Good. I'm glad we got that form of So we're aiding the Saudis still, but you know, we'll see what happens. I, once Vietnam gets involved, I, I want to get involved really badly. Uh, so, quarterly report, isolating tyrants. Yeah, look at that. They're actually doing really, really well without us. I'm kind of pleased. Um, almost a political party, which is not bad. I do want to see what happens for the next elections, though. That would be kind of interesting to see. You know, China, I mean, they can have more guns. Guns are no problem. We need more coalition forces, definitely. Intelligence is not bad. A couple casualties here and there, it's not great, but whatever. Still can't do this one. Just whatever. Um, I guess you know what? We're going to upgrade corporate weeds. I read this one before, I think. Uh, if you want to do this again, please go right ahead. We lose a little bit of stability, but that's alright. The NSF is in substandard condition. Command and control, huh? I really don't want to do this one, but... It's fine. So be it. They're doing really well. It's really not bad at all for them. Oh. Arms. Military equipment. Main battle tanks. Um, we can do more night raids. I really don't do psychological operations. I don't want to lose our support. I don't mind losing clave clearings. You know, we're going to have to at this point. Ooh. Ooh, we need more soldiers here. Deploy additional U.S. soldiers. I want to ask for more ISAF troop contributions. I think that's the that's the real goal here. Do we can't use our navy for anything here? That'd be nice. What is this? Cultural support ten thousand. Ten percent. 1%. Coalition support goes up more too. Command and, command and control. Interesting. It's good to really read the fine print. 48 less than 50% is good. Um, I really don't want to do this one because I do not lose any political power whatsoever. Use consumer goods. Yeah, I really don't want to do this one. Afghan tr transition authority loses a lot of stability though too. Well, they get some more stability in the end. Yeah, no, that one first. Because we already don't have political power as is. And then, uh, invest in the consumer sector. In the U.S., our country, uh, has a vast supply of money and our GDP is always steady and steady nest growth. Uh, so a very conservative, convenient thing, which would result in further benefits for our economy, would be to invest in the consumer sector. And this way, we'll also support America's various institutions, industries, as well as our economy. It's a win-win situation. That's what I'm okay with. Thousand. Well, good construction is great. Uproot corporate weeds, and invest in the consumer sector, yeah. Slightly better consumer goods, but better construction speed, love it. Um, 2,000. 1,000 is really not much. I want to do one more thing. Uh, at least one more reform here. Let's see. 
Keep them well supplied. As long as it's not our blood, that's what matters. More coalition support. Where's the coalition? It did, coalition support did fall. A little bit. I don't mind doing maybe five farming speed. Send the coalition forces. That's right. Yeah, no, we're not doing that one yet. We need to get some more forces. Um, rubber and steel. We never ever have enough rubber. Empty fighting vehicles, maybe. There you go. Got quite a few factories too. Hey, we're back. Seventy-seven point five percent. Fifty-seven point five. That's looking better already too, which is great. Okay, so to do this, we need a hundred just for reform support. We need a Republican, a Republican, and Democrat support at least at least three so one two three four two fifty we need two fifty to actually pass something probably that's what I'm seeing here more than enough guns send them to Poland two thousands fighting infantry vehicle not bad not bad So after that, we'll have another election soon. Um, there's not much else up here we can do. Gold Old Marines, U.S. Air Force. I wouldn't mind that one, maybe. The U.S. Air Fleet, basically the wings of a beloved eagle. The Air Fleet, although not as important as their infantry, is extremely crucial in the war between a battle won and lost. Therefore, you must quickly invest in it by building new military aircraft, making certain modifications to existing models, or simply investing in research. You don't remain the leading global military power by sitting in your hands and spending your national budget on welfare. Come on, let's roll proceeds. We have work to do. Nope. Uh, coalition support. Get rid, of, get rid of the Taliban. What else we got here? Two thirty-two. We need more forces. Getting a thousand more U.S. boys to die for this place will not solve it. Oh, we have five. So, we have five. We need 25,000, 10,000. Because if we can get more, we can do that too. Substandard condition, 40% is better. Hopefully this goes through well. Come on, lost. Die already. Die for your sins. Oh, what do we got here? Um, I don't mind using uh, a little bit of Eric's. Uh, hey, success, great. I'm going to hold on to our arm XP first, because we still got to spend it down here as well. Which is not ideal, but whatever. At least they send some guys. Mm -hmm. Building up everything we can. What else we got here? Is there anything cheap that we can just make a lot of besides guns? Because that takes a lot of uh, stuff too. No? Alright. Well, we're trying. Or, you need even more support? How many days does this take? 200 days. Oh man, we lose so much political power for that. So if I do this once, that means we would need 400. You know what, screw we're gonna do it once. You lose so much political power for that, it's not funny. Royal Marines, U.S. Air Force, keep our planes tidy. Well, we want our planes to be efficient in every way. We absolutely must make sure that they are well tidied. By that, I mean we can keep in our beloved Air Force's plans in excellent conditions. 
Both military technology improving and modifying existing engines and blueprints. In addition to this, existing military airports will be expanded and new ones built in order to increase order and avoid the accumulation of aircraft in a single base. Well, but also from an aesthetic point of view, our airports will be improved. War is an art after all, and the lands we we free need good-looking artists. Uh, that's right, yeah, sure. Fine. Hey, look at that. A Thai-led military coalition victory in China. The outbreak of the Fourth Indochina War was marked with chaos and fusions. The countries that were at peace months ago, with tourists visiting them, turned into active war zones that led between Thai led military alliance and communist governments of Cambodia and Laos, backed by Vietnam. And at last, the wars ended with the Thai led anti communist alliance coming on top. While Laos has been directly annexed into Thailand, much to the dismay of the royal Lao family, the Cambodian government was reformed into the anti Funisipak uh, movement. <coughs> Reactions in Vietnam have been mixed, uh, much muted as the country has lost two friendly countries and trade partners. Many expect upcoming changes to the Vietnamese government as it struggles to deal with the disastrous outcome of the war. Another bloody conflict ends. Great job, guys. Oh, I didn't even, we didn't even do it. Okay. Oh, look at that. The Jakarta Method. Since the anti-communist forces emerged victorious from the Indochina War, many communists remain in the newly acquired territories and provinces. They wish to wipe their new territories clean of the scourge. Well, turn a blind eye to it, of course, if they actually start to go through with it. It's in our best interest to let them reign over their own land since the less communists equal less problems overall. That's right. Then what? Establish S-E-A-T-O? To preserve the safety and territorial integrity of our allies and in the channel, look forward to founding S-E-A-T-O again with our Asian allies. SEATO stands for Southeast Asia Treaty Organization. Together, we can more easily defend each other and shortening the time to respond to outsider threats, greatly increasing your chances of successfully defending your viable allies. Huh. All right. Uh, anything else we need to hear? Yeah, we can do this one, I guess. How many guys here? 39% strength, 60-62%. Uh-huh. My hope, big hope, is that this will pay off. So reforms plus Republicans, because they'll be friendly to us. Democrats are not so unfriendly. And then 185 plus them should work out for us in the end. Facebook is launched. If you about that, please go ahead. Might download it later, maybe. Thousands is just not enough. Um, invite Thailand to the PDP. Since the Great Asian War ended in our loss, we've learned to more prosper, properly respect the value of our allies and realize that they are more, few and far between in Asia. The PDP will make something like the Indochina War. Our Great Asian War never come to pass. Look at Cambodia again. Um, for this very reason, furthermore, to strengthen the alliance, we'll invite Thailand to the Pacific Defense Pact. Breaking news once again comes from Cambodia's a Funisip Pact. Government has been overthrown in a swift coup. Again. Following the victory in the Indochina War, Northern uh, Ranarid and its government proved unable to resist the remnants of the communist forces and effectively rebuilt the country, leading to a prolonged instability in Cambodia and diminishing support for Fuen Sin Pak among the people. As a result, factions once allied with Fuen Sin Pak seized the opportunity and took control, placing Ranarid under house arrest and immediately banning the Fuen Sin Pak party thereafter. The current status. Uh, the monarchy remains uncertain, but the coup factions have pledged not to harm the royal family and the constitutional monarchy in Cambodia. You just can't win. You try, you try, you try, but you just can't win. So that's good. Hey, reconstruction's looking pretty good, though. as well. Comments Rebellion in India, look at that. Alright, so we got here, 12,000? Alright, so we gotta choose something that's good for 12,000. We don't need as much reconstruction. I don't mind getting more coalition support, because we're at 100% for reconstruction. Oh, can it get lower? That's my question. We got a ton of intelligence, so we want more coalition support as possible. 7.5 is still very good. Agriculture support is probably the best one. I 
Afghan elections in two months. Since reconstruction is almost over, an election will take place in two months to decide the future of Afghanistan, or Indian claims. The Indian and Pakistan have never gotten along that well, fighting each other on a number of different occasions. The wars and skirmishes. Now another war broken up between these two states. Uh, um, and so a combination of rebellions broken out in India has gained ground. It's a messy situation. Um, uh, but every problem can be overcome if you throw enough support towards one side. After months of construction and our job here is over. Oh. Oh, are we done with them? Okay, Afghan National Trans Transitional Authority becomes Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Are we done with you? Approaching election. Uh, sway tribal leaders. Neutral candidates 52%. Construction is done. Support for the coalition is 100%. Uh, I guess we're trying to sway elections in another nation. Okay. Look at that political power. Coalition support. Deploy extra security to voting st stations in key regions to ensure state safe and fair voting. Subtly favoring pro U.S. regions. You know what? Well, we can do that and increase coalition support too. Okay, so I'm okay with maybe doing the Taft Hartley Act. Well, you know what? I'm going to save first. We don't need any problems. Because I do want to help India out too. Because we have the political power now, we can actually do stuff about this. We have 70 days. Because I do want to pass another piece of legislation as well. 700 is not bad. There we go, 50 more. 48%? Oh, there's a Soviet candidate too, huh? This created opponent's campaign. Oh, that's the one we just chose. And back Pakistan. Back India. India has more problems than Pakistan while being at war. They also need to destroy the Communist Rebellion before it spirals out of control. We should provide help to India rather than Pakistan. This is our sacred duty to root out communism whenever we're given the opportunity. First, back Pakistan. Pakistan seems like a more favorable candidate to receive our support. So, because the nation's on the rise and they're plagued by less problems compared to India, uh, which is suffering from war and rebellion on top, to top it off. I think I want uh, these guys, maybe. America's sole friend in South Asia. We need tech cent centers, centers somewhere. Hmm. We cannot afford to have communists down here, so. You see all things play out in the end. Establish an SEATO. Good. Southeast Asia Treaty Organization. Very, very good. Ah. Oh, we're losing political power every day. That's not good. End of Yugoslavia. Hey, look at that. Goodbye, Yugoslavia. And we didn't need to just do a single thing to destroy them. I'm going to back India. Sway tribal leaders. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yugoslav presidency asked by military in Belgrade. Hello, what's going on? Bosnia's looking thick. Great Republic of Herzegovina. 
Oh. Even southern Serbia is not looking good. They have Kosovo here too. Wow. Afghan elections are coming up. Alright, so where are we at for this one? 49, are you kidding me? Uh, hello? Are you kidding me? I should do Democrat support too. Oh. I, you know, there's a lot this, this mod needs to work on still. Because even if I were to click it now, it would be too late. Yeah, that's so dumb that you have to wait so long to get support. That doesn't make any sense to me. That literally makes no sense. Holy crap, what happened here? Yeah, let's see. It needs to get reworked a little bit more, in my opinion. Boop. Well, we're going to make sure the bill passes eventually. We're going to back India. Great Asian War. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. The other in the UAE. The United Arab Emirates is a confederation or federation consisting of multiple emirates. The nation is a big producer of oil, though they do not depend on it like other nations in the area. As with other nations in the Middle East, Middle East we should have good relations with the UAE, as it would be beneficial for them if we ally to each other some way. And shut down them terrorists. In the nation of Libya, there's a scourge that's settled somewhere in the desert. It's terrorists. They're unleashing terror as far as they can reach with a rowing banner of criminals. Taking down these scum would be a good prestige for us, and uh, also many Libyans could also sleep easy after our work is done. Results of the Afghan elections. Would you look at that? After weeks of campaign, the first Afghan elections are to be held today. After the results are finalized, a candidate who wins will definitely have an impact on Afghanistan's international position, whether it be the pro-SUA, pro-USSR, or neutral. The pro-US US, pro -US candidate wins. Look at that. Who could have seen that one coming? Totally not us. So, uh, 56 days left. Not bad. We're going to wait and continue to do that one. Um, Afghan army is getting bigger. Get more, more coalition support as well. Uh, but that'll come with time. And we're not doing anything else here yet. So with you guys, our goal is to help clean this side up. That is by far our goals. Um, yeah. Hello. Hopefully you can bomb the crap out of them. There you go. Helps out. Just go in. Like you literally just are revving in. I think they'll hold against the, uh, Pakistan, hopefully. But with our guys moving in, they these I hope the Indians are gonna hold their hold, hold their own line. Because right now we're just gonna shove ourselves into these holes. Tai Nguyen incident. Pyongyang and ish territory. Uh huh. Back down to this stuff again. Substandard condition, but that's pretty normal. And eh, I don't want to wait to do that one yet. Ensure pilot expertise. If we want our Air Force to be at the forefront, we must not only boost the production of warplanes, armaments, and invest in research, but must also ensure that our pilots actually know how to ride a plane. It would be embarrassing to have one of the best air fleets in the world while having rabbit as aces, wouldn't it? Therefore, to prevent this from happening, the various military schools will probably set to work to recruit good pilots and instruct the new ones, of course. That means we first have to show out a tidy sum from our national investment portfolio, of course. Don't report. Recent intelligence gathered from the reconnaissance indicates a concerning escalation of military activity uh, on the Korean demilitarized zone. Following the bombardments from North Korean forces in Yongpyong just a few days ago. Our surveillance drones have detected a notable buildup of additional military units miles north of the border, suggesting heightened preparation for potential further provocations or military actions. The deployment of these units appears to be a strategic, uh, indicating a deliberate effort by North Korea to bolster its military presence and potentially project power across the border region. Those buildup of military forces raises significant concerns regarding the stability of the Korean Peninsula and the potential for further conflicts. The actions taken by the North Koreans in recent weeks pose a direct threat to the regional security and stability necessitating a heightened level of vigilance and preparedness from our own forces and those of our allies in the region. Uh, it's imperative that we monitor the situation closely and maintain open lines of communication with our allies to coordinate any appropriate response to any further provocations or escalations by North Korea. Okay. We're just like, alright. Whatever. I'm going to begin just destroy them. Yep. Good luck, Korea. They move pretty freaking fast down there. All in. 
Even though it's not good to send tanks this direction. Whatever. There you go. Nice job, guys. And now we're going to destroy the rest of the tank. Uh, down here. Uh, I don't want to fight over the river, especially for fighting mountains and hills and whatnot. So, Kami's got to go first. They just have to. Now we're looking down here. 21 days, and there they go. Please tell me I can send. Oh, I can't send volunteers. That's really bad. A financial colony, huh? Jay, boy, they, they should do okay without China interfering in them, but. That's a huge butt. Great Asian War. War is broken up between China and North Korea against South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. Asia has never been seen in as much conflict since the days of World War II. We'll stand by our allies and we will not let these communist dictatorships not allow democracy out in Asia. They can only take our freedoms from the, our cold dead hands. Boots on the ground. We refound the Japanese army. Huh. Japan's military have been disbanded as a punishment so that they cannot commit to such big wars as, as World War II. Now, their armies in need of support and will help them reestablish their army to combat the Chinese and North Korean forces. Um, boots on the ground. Our soldiers are the cream de la creme in terms of all currently existing armed forces. Equip the best weapons and vehicles. Also constantly funded and employ better and better equipment. We'll help our, uh, our Korean Taiwanese Japanese allies win this bloody war by sending troops. Well, that... Sooner rather than later, it would be nice. East Asia Alliance. In the hushed chambers of the Japanese Foreign Ministry, American diplomats led by Ambassador Howard Baker. Press the Japanese officials to forge an alliance with the South Korean uh, amidst an escalating crisis on the Korean Peninsula. The recent artillery bombardment of Yongpyong Island has shattered the fragile peace, plunging the region into the throes of conflicts once more. As the tensions thickened, Ambassador Baker's voice cut out through the unease, urging Japan to send in solidarity with its South Korean neighbors against the looming threat of North Korean aggression. I understand your hesitance, Ambassador Baker began his tone measured but yet urgent, but the time for hesitation has passed. North Korea's broken, brazen invasion demands a unified response. We can allow Pyongyang's aggression to go unchecked. The Japanese diplomats, including Foreign Minister uh, Yoriko Kawaguchi and the Director General of the Japan Defense Agency Shigeru Ibusha, Ibisha, Ib Ishiba, exchanged uneasy glances, acutely aware of the implications of such a pact. Yet, as the weight of the situation settled upon them, murmurs of great agreement began to stir within the room. We must consider the broader implications, Director General Ishiba hesitated, his gaze fixed on the map of the Korean Peninsula before them, but perhaps an alliance is the only viable option. With tentative nods exchanged, the Japanese officials reluctantly conceded to the proposal, recognizing the necessity of solidarity in the face of North Korean aggression. As the meeting concluded, Ambassador Baker offered a somber nod of gratitude, acknowledging the gravity of the decision made. Thank you for your cooperation, he said, his voice tinged with solemn resolve. Together we stand as gardens of peace and stability in the region. As the Japanese delegation departed, Foreign Minister Kawaguchi lingered behind, her gaze leaning on the map of the Korean Peninsula. She whispered something to herself, a vow of unwavering determination echoing through the silent halls of diplomacy. The domino shall not fall. Well, we'll see. I want more rubber. I don't want to import rubber. I want American rubber. I'm gonna keep... Oh, watching this. Recent developments... Uh... Recent developments in the escalating conflict of the Korean Peninsula suggest a potential entry of China in the fray, posing a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape of the region. Through intercepted communications and satellite imagery analysis, there are indications that the Chinese military leadership is closely monitoring the situation along the Korean DMZ, with a notable increase in military exercises and deployments across the border with North Korea. Additionally, reports from intelligence assets within China suggest. Uh, <clears throat> uh, within China suggests a heightened state of alertness and preparedness within the People's Liberation Army, indicative of a potential readiness to, to intervene should the conflicts escalate further. Furthermore, the formation of a strategic alliance between South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan, urged by our diplomatic efforts, has raised cons concerns within the Japanese leadership, or Ch Chinese leadership, regarding the balance of power in the region. The alliance presents a formidable coalition that could potentially challenge China's influence and interest in the Asia-Pacific region. In response, China may seek to counterbalance this alliance by aligning itself more closely with North Korea, or even considering direct military intervention to safeguard its strategic interests and maintain its regional dominance. As tensions continue, mounting and the risk of wider conflict looms, it's imperative that we carefully assess China's intentions and prepare for the possibility of their involvement in the ongoing crisis. It's like, okay. Well, there they go. Oh, Kimmy. We got 12 days left. Boots on the ground. Oh, go. In accordance with the mutual defense treaty between the U.S. and South Korea, this is the moment to demonstrate our strong commitment to protecting our allies. 
Communist forces from the north are invading the country. If South Korea falls, or allies in the Asia Pacific region such as Japan, tai Taiwan, the Philippines, and Australia will face severe danger. Let's go. Oh, oh we just auto completed. We didn't even get that focus done. Okay. All right, I guess I guess we're going in, y'all. We only saw a lot of planes. Ooh, that's a lot of red. Do they have an airbase? Do they believe in airbases? Bro, don't tell me you don't even have an airbase. Where the heck is the airbase? Okay, so we now we can see the air bases. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we can't send them jack squat. That's really pitiful. That's pitifully bad. Schwartz, there you go. You know, I literally just want you to hold the line. See if you can hold it. Like once they tie themselves against us, it's fine. Uh, well, that's not good. Chinese troops enter. Please let me send planes. Happy July, though, everybody. Seven days left. Send coalition forces. You are going to be loading a crap ton. Yeah. Where are you at? Yeah, you're just getting pelted like crazy. They're going to really tire our tanks out, but I wish these guys would stop moving around. Oh, look at this. A global economic crash. Um, decreased tensions and the eruption of war in Asia has led to a financial crash all over the globe never seen before. Values of currencies have dropped, crucial trade routes have closed, and millions have lost their livelihoods. Um, many crucial trade routes have... Oh, yeah. Uh, many people, even lots of confidence in the government, choosing to join radical ideologies. If we want the economy to thrive once more, we need immediate action. Well, we gotta fix this. Alright, so they're friendly. So... This is completely unfair that we can't, cannot send airplanes. If China can send all their planes over, this makes no sense. Armored anti-air would be nice. Maintenance. Logistics for... Self-propelled anti-air. It actually increases our armor. Do we have any anti air? Well, we got one right here. Slap them on. Alright. Form reform. Republican, Republican. Now we're gonna really destroy our political power, which is really stupid in my opinion, but whatever. Great Asian war. Start the draft. Refund the Japanese army, yeah. How do we okay, so this is completely unfair. To make this more fair, I might delete the, the Chinese Air Force, because they should not have this many planes. And we're not allowed to even have any planes. Catholic and Bosnia, look at that. Yay! So let's wait and see what happens here. Yeah. Can I just send you plans? Oh, we got... No, okay, I'm going to get involved in this then. I'll use Khan's commands. This is stupid. This is so stupid, it's not funny. Um, so there's that. Let's start the lend -Lease. Our lend -Lease was the way we contributed to the Allies during World War II before the Japanese Empire attacked Pearl Harbor. Our lend -Lease was also vital to keep the Soviet Red Army functional and battle-ready. We'll commit to the Lendlease again, this way we can help our allies in need without wasting the viable lives of our soldiers. Start the draft. We need more troops in Asia to more effectively, efficiently help out our allies in desperate need of support. We can start some recruitment campaigns and drafts. We believe that it should be enough for the Ukraine that is the Great Asian War. 
and kicked the economy out. We have supported our Asian allies in a number of different ways by now. Our, their armies are reestablished, the equipment was updated and increased. Now it's time to finally rest this communist felt that has plagued H for decades, it is time to finish them off. Operation Crimson Shield, look at that, huh? Alright, everyone. Oh, look at that! The communist in India died. Um, but, uh, the Republican Party primaries in 2004. The primaries have once again arrived with multiple candidates attempting to get ahead of the Republican Party. Between all the candidates, speeches are made, points are rebuked, and criticisms are placed, all culminating one winner merging in the primaries. Thus, the nomination goes to George W. Bush, Jeb Bush, Dick Cheney. Oh man, I want to see Dick Cheney try to run. I mean, how more? How much more stupid can we get? I mean, not stupid. I think stupid was a completely incorrect term, but I don't know what to say. Like, oh god, Dick Cheney. Also, with this, now, now with the can successfully pass a bill, we're going to lose even more political power, but whatever. Uh, oh, that's good. Also, we got the event saying that the Taliban insurgency is going to increase too, which, which sucks. Um, so we got all this going on. Then we got the Great Asian War. We got communist cells, North Korean infiltrators, also known as Kongbi, pose a significant threat to the national defense of South Korea. It's imperative to root out these communist cells across the country to properly fight off the invasion. So, yeah, it's not helping us out. Uh -huh. Due to the infiltrators being crushed in the state, they can no longer operate in control. So, I mean, that's fine. It costs us guns, it's fine. Empowering Japan's military aims to counterbalance China, but this risk is stoking far-right nationalism. Striking a delicate balance is essential. Low nationalism offers uh, military advantages, but unchecked fervor may destabilize the region. So, weekly gain plus two. Send arms to them. Extra heroism. Significantly hampers down the weekly growth of infiltrators in the country for 60 days. Well, I honestly don't care. Just, just going to be straight up honestly, I don't care. I'm not sure what it does to all them, but whatever. <coughs> and kick the commie out will be next. And eventually, of course, we'll have Olivia in civil war, but we're actually pretty busy with all this stuff going on, so maintain traditional plan, more air attack, expand the d drone department. The military I command decided to take a less traditional approach from our usual tactical bombing with airplanes and floundering with attack helicopters. In fact, the decision taken is to expand the drone department so as to not create a significant gigantic air fleet that will surely end up consuming the available military budget and focus more on a fleet of drones, which are much cheaper to maintain. In terms of construction, production, maintenance, and in the form of space, they take up much less space in a plane, and also for bellic and scouting reasons, being that they are small and easy to handle. Democratic Party primaries. Um, I don't remember John Kerry. I don't remember Bill Braid Bradley or Ann Richards. Uh, let's have Ann Richards. Let's balance it. So, we balance it out a little bit more, so we're not completely dying here. Uh, so we still have only like, oh, 200 versus so many. So, because earlier, I guess uh, I might have made a mistake and couldn't like send stuff. I'm still not advancing. Like, our soldiers are still getting the crap beaten out of them. But they're learning. They're trying. Uh, as the dust settles for the primaries of the selection year, the time has come for you to choose who your allegiance to the upcoming presidential elections. Well, you know what? Donald Trump will poverty, so... We're gonna go with that one. Oh god, this is gonna be god awful to figure all this stuff out. Um, Taliban insurgencies will shrink, which we could use, honestly. Um, Fourteen days. Psychological operations. I don't do that one. Well, that one seems pretty good to do. Um, I'm gonna have to do some really funky stuff here, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I don't trust myself with this right now. Swing. So I'm not really concerned if I have to use consequence for that. But the Eagle's wings. Amazing. So today we conclude our check-in with shop over Air Force. It was much simpler compared to the various political reforms. Now we can be proud of having completed the dear Air Force, and we can be joyful that now our people are protected and safe thanks to the wings of not just one Eagle, but the whole flock. And the U.S. Navy. Um... The U Navy of the United States of America is one of the strongest naval powers in the world, having long been masters of the sea since the end of the Second World War. Our naval forces consist of tens of aircraft carriers, signature battleships, hundreds of submarines, and thousands of sailors men in these vessels. With such a large power, we must finance manage its finances properly, which will be the topic of the next budget proposal. There currently allows an opportunity for increased funding to the Navy with two possible places where the funds could be deposited. Our submarine fleet is the first one, being a formidable fact within our naval power. Our subfleet has been a staple that can be amplified with increased funding. Same goes for battleships as well, being both intimidating and powerful, a boost in the budget, uh, can ensure naval dominance for the next few decades. So, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there. We're going to focus on Pakistan. Um, we're going to focus on, of course, improving Afghanistan, making sure we get reelected, and. Oh, we're moving the Taft-Hartley Act. So, all it is for this event is just that we get union cooperation. So, 
And maybe eventually we will maybe get prisoner rehabilitation. That might be good too. Ooh, actually, what are the effects of that? So that's weird. Okay, so we get the effects. Population goes up. Stability goes up. Land support and cool support effectiveness goes down. That's a very weird negative part of that modifier. And then there's medical marijuana. You lose political power, you get more stability. Makes better soldiers' losses. Huh. So, regardless, uh, I think I'm just going to end there. I know it's, I'm ending a little bit early uh, for where I normally have it. But uh, I need to do all the funky stuff and make sure we balance this out here too. So, um, yeah. It is what it is. We're doing what we can. And we have a lot of supplies. We need more self belt anti air cell. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue on trying to not struggle with everything. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.